more time for Dan Copeland. Uh, all right. I printed out too many of these questions. I'm so excited about all of them. I don't know what to pick. All right, this is a good one. Which, okay, you can name either the actor or the character he plays from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, who was the voice of Shredder on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. One of the characters on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Yes. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, easy. All right. So I first learned of our next reader, Anna or Anna Carete, from her first book, Baby Babe, from Civil Coping, Coping Mechanisms. Other folks here might recognize her from the front cover of Candy Today, where she was recently featured after breaking the world record for biggest candy mosaic. At 1,400 square feet, the candy mosaic made of one million candy hearts is only matched and oomph by her rad poems. Our second of three new Austin poets, Anna recently moved from San Diego. Let's welcome Anna Caret today. I'm going to read two poems from my phone because no one else is going to read from their phones. And I know that is, people don't like that. A lot of people hate when people read from their phones. But I think we need to get used to it, so. <laughs> in case you were wondering what to call me. When I was in middle school, they called me Anus. My nickname was Anus. And they said Anus meant Anna in English. And out of nowhere, they would shout anus. And I blushed every single time I heard that word because I didn't know what was going to happen later. I think I started to think that that wasn't my name, but it kind of was because every time they said anus, I knew that they were talking to me. They wouldn't even say anything after anus. No one talked to me. They would just scream anus. And sometimes when I was sitting in the classroom, whatever boy sat behind me would shake my desk and it moved like a low rider and it moved like the bed that belonged to the girl from The ex Exorcist, and it moved like a four-year-old with a temper tantrum, and it moved like honeymooners, and it moved like a scared teenager that will never forget, and it moved like a flickering light bulb, and it moved like elephants on my throat, and it moved like Macaulay Culkin being attacked by bees in My Girl, and it moved like Sissy Spacek as Ca Carrie being covered in thick blood, and it moved like being crucified by Carrie, and it moved like anxiety, and it moved in the slowest motion ever. And when it stopped, someone moaned. Someone screamed my name again. Waiting by the phone versus waiting by the iPhone. Feeling nostalgic about all the movies and songs that talk about, portray, and embody women waiting by the phone, twirling the cord, spinning all over the kitchen, <laughs> beautifully tied up until she can't take it anymore. Instead of this image of a goddess staring at her, at her burger phone, staring at her see-through phone, instead of this image, I am waiting by my iPhone, standing in the counter, by the counter, standing in the supermarket, standing in the gas station, standing in the bank, standing with my cell phone in my purse, standing with my iPhone in my butt pocket, standing and, standing and walking around, having one bar or four, having internet but whining when it's slow. Technology makes me feel less romantic because it lets me be outside. I can be anywhere. I don't have to be home, in bed, staring at my pink phone, playing with its umbilical cord, Pulling it, pretending I am disconnecting the baby from its mother. And now I'm going to read one about mermaids, and it's called Capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> I want to live underwater with all the cute mermaids, but I can't breathe underwater, so I guess I want to hang out with mermaids for a few seconds and, and die. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think ugly mermaids are a thing? Probably not, right? Mermaids are babes. I want to smooch a mermaid and then I want to give her a pair of rollerblades or a skateboard and then I take a big a pic of her holding the skateboard and she smiles because useless things make us happy. The mermaid could wear her rollerblades like gloves, her tail in the air like she does don't care. 
I ride a mermaid like it's a dolphin, and I don't fall and drown in the ocean because I pull her hair and say giddy up if I want to go faster. <laughs> Summary of all the horror films where girls get bullied and later look for revenge. <laughs> In order to be liked and admired, she turns into a babe first. Then it gets in her head and she turns into a horrible person. If she's saved by a jock, she turns into a princess. If she skips the makeover, the creepy brunette is always a bitch later. <laughs> <laughs> Poke my eyeballs, I want to feel alive. Can I get brain liposuction somewhere in Beverly Hills? Is it cheap? Can I get before and after images? Am I going to be dumber? Can you suck the fat and inject it in my ass? <laughs> <laughs> I like the <laughs> Usher made me cry. <laughs> in seventh grade, I cried every day in the back seat. My mom asked questions and sometimes I didn't answer. Slow jams made me cry and nothing was okay. Not even my backpack. My backpack was way too big and even my little sister made fun of me. She said it looked like a refrigerator. Virgin or witch? I am all the Disney witches. I bake apple pies and poison everything I bake. I steal your voice and hide it in a seashell. Do you like pizza? I'll hide it in a seashell too. <laughs> Is witchcraft the right word? Sometimes in movies, someone makes a circle with a piece of white chalk and they stay inside of that circle and no one can step inside. I hate that. <laughs> I opened four umbrellas in my room one after another and ran down and up the stairs and under ladders while holding two black cats because bad things will happen no matter what. Purple eyeshadow. When I was four, I wanted to be a pig. Miss Piggy was my role model. When I was, in, when I was a teenager, I bought purple and green and blue and yellow eyeshadow from a catalog. I wore purple and someone asked if someone punched me. Well, um, no, not really, but bye, bitch. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, or it's, it's more like Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> My life was really pathetic when I watched Jerry Springer and all those other shows about teenage prostitutes and pimps. I remember watching episodes about boosters who wanted to show their ex-classmates they were really hot now. I got straight A's and I felt miserable and I cried during PE class in the bathroom. But now I feel happy whenever I see that the cool guys are super miserable now. Good people are allowed to hate, right? What's good? Sci-fi suicide. I want you to give me a reason to fly where you are. I want us to get drunk in my pocket. I want you to do the Trekkie sign. I'll stick my tongue out and move it in between your fingers. Braces and ponytails. I only remember terrible things. I don't think I have any pictures of my 15 year old self. They sent me to the school psychologist and the shrink told me that my problem was that I always fix my hair the same way. I always wore a boring ponytail. She told me to fix my hair differently every day for a week. Just try it, she said. And I ran out of ideas on the third day because braids and ponytails are, so, are all there is. Besides, you can't wear your hair down in Catholic school. It's too provocative. Triple X is impossible. Grandma was bending down. Her hands were on her bed, and I was holding her back so she wouldn't fall down. Mom put latex gloves on because Grandma told Mom to put creamy medication in her ass. Mom was trying to apply the cream, but Grandma pooped and it fell on the floor. Mom held her hands and told her what happened. I held Grandma's back. Mom told Grandma to run. 
I told Grandma, run, 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 even though she can barely walk now. She is almost blind and is constantly afraid of falling down. We were trying to walk fast and Grandma dropped something. I was walking behind her and another piece of poop fell down. She said something like, oh no, oh why, but in Spanish. And we told her to sit down, quick, come on, sit down, it's Spanish. We sat on her bed while she sat on her potty. I hugged mom and stared at grandma. Grandma asked who picked up her poop. Mom told her I did, but she lied. Grandma said I was the best. Grandma has a poop calendar, and whenever she poops, an X is marked on that day. Double X if she poops twice. Triple X is impossible. Thank you. <laughs>